I just saw a whole bunch of black dots. It was like little black dots coming toward us. After that was just a hail of gunfire and my mom had ran in from downstairs. She got me off the bed, she put me on the floor and she laid on top of me and she just told me to be quiet. At some point I was walking around, I saw a lot of dead bodies, I saw just blood, bullet holes everywhere. I wasn't scared. That's what David said was gonna happen. These people were gonna come and they were gonna kill us and we were all gonna die. And to me, it wasn't anything outside of the normal. My name is Joanne Vallega and I lived through the siege on Waco, Texas. From what I gathered, my mom really was looking for just a reason to live. And when she met David, she thought that's what it was. Um, and I think she really desperately wanted a place to belong. It kind of is like those commercials of these endless rolling hills of daisies and I'm just by myself. Like that's what my childhood memories are, the earlier ones. As it got to where I was older, um, it started getting a little darker. It was a lot more fear. David, he was very strict. He believed you know, children should be seen, not heard. You just did not know what he had up his sleeve at any time of the day. I would always want to understand where a person has to be in their life to feel that they would need something and someone like David. And I don't fault my parents for making that decision because in the moment, if that's what was needed, okay. I just wish my parents were in a more secure place to have made a better decision. But I can't change that. And when I left, um, my mom and my dad were standing at the front door of the compound. She got me ready, she put my jacket on me, she gave me her necklace, gave me her note for my sister, and both of them, you know, kissed me goodbye, and that was, that was it. It just makes it really difficult to not think she's a wonderful person to willingly know and send out her child from this situation and for her to have to stay. You could have been a very selfish person in that moment and she just wasn't. My sister would always turn on the TV in the morning and you know follow the news and see what was going on and she had turned on the TV one day and immediately turned it off. She ended up telling me when I had gotten home from school that day that my parents had died and I wasn't mad, I didn't cry because that was what David had said was gonna happen. We were all gonna die. I think the property seems so much smaller right now, but as a kid, it was just huge. Sorry, I don't really have a lot to say. I 
I don't feel it's necessary to start a conversation with anyone in my past. I don't feel like it's something that is necessary to explain or to justify or to even bring up. I'd rather them know who I am for me instead of starting off with them already having an, an idea of who I am. I pour everything I have into my kids. That was that's my healing is to make sure that my kids are protected, they're they're knowledgeable, they know and they don't make bad decisions. <laughs> well, that saying is um everything you want is on the other side of fear. And I I believe that full-heartedly and that's why I think I like training and development so much is cuz you instill that confidence in other people that fear just is not is not going to help you get anywhere. So if I could wish anything on the world, it would be that that confidence in who you are and who you want to be, that's there. You just got to listen to that over the fear. You got to have that be a little bit louder than whatever fear is telling you. I can honestly say that if I didn't go through these kinds of experiences, that I wouldn't be half of the mom I am today, I wouldn't be half the wife I am today, I wouldn't be half the individual I am today. I can't imagine my life any different. Like, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.